abductor pollicis gravis. Basically, the name tells this muscle, abductor thumb. However, it's a short one. Basis right there. Proximal attachment, flexor retinacle and tubercles of scaphoid and trapezoid right nearby there. This attachment, as you can see, well, lateral side, lateral side or lateral aspect of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. All right, proximal phalanx of the thumb. So it's kind of more on the side, side of abduction. And the main action is abduct the thumb and help oppose it, help oppose, opposition, because when you oppose them, you have to open that. Open that, okay? So that's why we call that help. Innovation, recurrent branches of the median. Remember, this is very important, recurrent branches. If you cut the recurrent branches of the median nerve, basically this nerve innervate the thinner compartment. You basically insert all the flexors or on the palm side of the thumb, the muscles, okay? Except, except a D doctor policies, okay? AD doctor is so deep. So we consider that as intorsus muscle. So that's basically innervated by ulnar nerve, that ulnar nerve, all right? So I will get that to more details. But for the time being, remember, recurrent branches of the median nerve is cover your, generally speaking, your thinner compartment, all right, thinner compartment. And uh, artery supply, superficial palm branch of the radial artery. Next, let's say the flexor policy is brevis. All right, look at that. That's nice, beautiful, right? So the proximal attachment is a flexor retinacum again, and uh, uh, tubercles of the scaphoid, and the trapezoid pretty much the same. Okay, same area. This attachment, the lateral side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. All right, but basically this time they kind of towards the palm side a little bit. May actually flex the thumb. Flex the thumb, all right? Flex the thumb. And innervation, recurring the branches of the median nerve. Okay, same thing. C8 and T1. Arterial supply superficial palmar branches of the radial artery.